So clearly this was an effort to steal this thing from Bernie Sanders. And I mean, just look at it. Look at the timeline here. Again, we already told you Pete Buttigieg's campaign complained about the way the satellite caucuses uh, uh, were being distributed as far as delegates. What's happening? Iowa party has allocated state delegate equivalents to satellites relatively straightforwardly, proportionally based on raw turnout. The Democratic National Committee is interpreting the rules in a way that somewhat, that would somewhat, not entirely, flatten that distribution, making it less directly linked to raw turnout. Well, I wonder why they're doing that. Is that because these are the locations that actually would put Bernie Sanders over the top? And by the way, the narrative has always been from the neoliberal folks atop woke back mountain from the neoliberal folks atop woke back mountain wonderful graphic by colin well bernie's just you know he has white people he can't move a, a coalition together well the very satellite caucus locations that the dnc is trying to basically water down their delegate equivalents in order to assure mayor cia i mean pete Buttigieg, a victory who was at those satellite locations? Muslims, Latinos, African Americans, union workers. These, a lot of these satellite locations were minority communities that have never voted. Remember, Status Quo has been reporting for months that Bernie Sanders' campaign, their strategy was not just to try and get the, the existing Democratic base, but to try and expand the electorate, to try and get more Latinos out, excuse me, to try and get first time voters out, uh, new Latinos out that have never voted before, new Muslims out that have never voted uh, before, new African Americans out that have not, uh, never voted before, new immigrants out that, have, that can vote, which other candidates are not trying to get expand the electorate. Right now, if you want to even take these numbers as faith, I don't take them on faith because how could you actually trust these numbers? They were put together by the DNC with the Iowa State Democratic Party's help. And how could you trust this? I, I don't mean to be conspiratorial, but it says 97%. 97% reporting. A three state delegate equivalent difference. Bernie down, I'm not good at math, but that's basically tied. But the problem here is, let's say with that final 3% reporting that Bernie takes the lead, that's great. I'm a Bernie guy. I'd be happy. But that doesn't mean it's over. There needs to be an independent forensic audit done by a firm or individuals that have no financial history with the Democratic National Committee, have no financial history with the Democratic Party, the Republican Party, completely agnostic. Because to me, look at these polls. Again, look at these polls. The final poll that the, Iowa, that the Des Moines Register did that they would not release because Mayor Pete complained had Buttigieg at 16%. Yet, the results that are being reported have a 10-point differential. The, the, the reports that are being, the, the numbers that are putting out have a 10-point differential between what the gold standard of polling, the Des Moines Register, had two days before the Iowa caucus. Here is the history. Thank you, Jen, for getting this to me. Here is the history of the Des Moines Register in terms of their margin of error. First of all, in the last 30 years, they have correctly called the winner every single time but once. They were wrong about Romney first Rick Santorum. Other than that, they have called the winner correctly for the, every single time for the last 30 years. So if you want to believe these numbers, which I do not, you have to assume that a very, very unusual thing has occurred and the Des Moines Register had, had it wrong. You would also have to believe that there was a 10 point error two days 
within two days of the caucus. So here is the average errors for all of their polling before Iowa for the last 30 years. The highest average error, excuse me, is a little over 4%. Okay, so let's get this straight. Final poll that was spiked because Mayor CIA complained has them at 16%. According to the numbers that Tom Perez is putting out there, because again, CNN reports the DNC is running the show in Iowa. He's at 26%. Yet the average error for the Des Moines Register is a little over 4% over the last 30 years. The biggest error they had So we're looking at the average, but the biggest error they had was 10%. So is there precedence for them being wrong by 10 points? Yes. But on average, no. The average error, no. Folks, we need to, by the way, by the way, and we're going to get to this later, Bernie Sanders brought out more young people in this caucus than came out for Barack Obama in a record year in 2008. More young voters aged 17 to 29 came out for Bernie Sanders in this caucus than Barack Obama had in 2008. So when the establishment and Jennifer Rubin and Chris Hardball Matthews and the Washington Post And all of these brainiacs say, Bernie Sanders is unelectable. He's going to get crushed against Trump. And we need to have a moderate to court moderate Republicans, which isn't even a thing anymore. There is no such thing as moderate Republicans. This was the brilliant strategy Hillary Clinton's campaign had in 2016. You remember when Chuck Schumer said, for every two blue-collar workers we lose, we'll pick up excuse me, for every blue-collar worker we lose, we'll pick up two moderate Republicans. How'd that work out? Well, here's an alternative vision of how you win. You beat Barack Obama's record numbers in 2008 among young people. You expand the electorate with more Muslims, more Latinos, more African Americans. That's how you're going to crush Donald Trump, who, by the way, if you watched his State of the Union, was one of the scariest things I've ever seen. And I've seen some scary things. He literally awarded Rush Limbaugh the Medal of Honor. Sorry that he's dying of cancer, but that is horrific. Rush Limbaugh is one of the most disgusting, dangerous, vile, racist, misogynist, horrible people on planet Earth. I feel bad for his family but about the cancer, but that doesn't, that doesn't mean he's not. He deserves praise. If you watch Donald Trump, State of the Union, it was like a fascist horror movie for right-wing red meat dog whistling. And you are going to beat that with Pete Buttigieg, who basically needs the DNC to very, very, very um, pathetically try to steal the Iowa caucus for him? And by the way, by the way, just to be clear, once... The results are audited, which again, I don't even, it doesn't even matter if Bernie Sanders wins. I mean, it matters, but I'm going to be consistent. It should be audited whether he's declared the winner or not. Pete Buttigieg still got a lot of votes. I mean, I can't take that away from him. But Pete Buttigieg only plays to white Americans. You're going to beat Donald Trump, who, by the way, I haven't covered this because I've been so busy. Donald Trump's administration is literally handing cash out to low-income black people at events all around the country. Donald Trump's uh, administration is going after the black vote. And frankly, they did pass more civil rights, uh, excuse me, more criminal justice reform than President Obama's administration did. Obviously, he doesn't care about black people who's doing it just to get their vote. But you're going to have Mayor Pete beat this guy? And by the way, just to show you how corrupt Tom Perez is, CNN is reporting Tom Perez wants this recanvassing. He's not concerned about the actual count, which has 
I mean, I've lost count. We're talking tens of dozens of errors, if you want to call them errors. He's not concerned about the actual count. He's concerned of the mechanism of how the satellite caucus, again, the caucus locations that are overwhelmingly swinging to Bernie, he's concerned about how those are going to be distributed. So to to, to, to just dumb it down for you, because all of this caucus stuff is very complicated, Tom Perez doesn't want a re-canvassing because he's worried about the integrity of the overall vote, the overall count. He wants a re-canvassing because what's remaining is going to put Bernie Sanders over the top, and he wants to water down the satellite locations. And it's very, fu- it's very ironic. It's very ironic to me because Tom Perez and the DNC, who have been playing identity politics for the last decade, who, who in order to avoid income inequality, in order to avoid the new Gilded Age, in order to avoid their corruption, they're selling out working class people to Wall Street, to the fossil f- to big pharma, to real estate developers, to Silicon Valley. In order to avoid all that, they have played identity politics, talking about how we need, you know, black transgender women to run which I think is great, but I don't really care if you're black transgender. I don't care if you're glow in the dark. I care if you're for Medicare for all. I care if you're for free public college tuition. I care if you're for ending private prisons. I care if you're for banning fracking. I care about progressive policies. I don't care what you look like, who you love. It doesn't matter. And maybe some people would say that's short-sighted, but that's how I, what I believe. But the Democratic Party, who has been playing identity politics for the last two decades, are now trying to water down, water down how the delegates are, are sent, are distributed from satellite locations that had Muslims come out in bigger numbers than ever before, that had Latinos come out in Iowa in bigger numbers than ever before, that had African Americans come out in numbers like we've never seen before in Iowa. Hope you enjoyed that last video. Hop on over to statuscoup.com where you can sign up for our email list and become a member for as low as five to ten dollars a month. Membership is how we grow. That's statuscoup.com slash join. And remember, join our email list so we can grow the revolution with you. <laughs> <laughs>